and Charlie, our former teammates, best buds, and uh, we just we love to hear we love to hear some embarrassing Charlie stories. So if you can just you know start us off on a, on the right note, Teal, we'd we'd be grateful. Yeah, I mean there's 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 so many stories. I got one about <laughs> the cow that he remembers, um, but I'll keep that one between us. But I think the most embarrassing is probably that he's still doing the stanky leg. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, it is. It's like, it's a little dated, man, right? Yeah. Come on. Some new, please. <laughs> Some new one time. I mean, Daniel Sturge was trying was to do say, it. Like... And he couldn't even do it right. My man was doing like a Dougie stanky leg. But, um, hey. You know, I, I think it's one of those generational songs. Just you got to just always bust you it out. You know what? You do, you own it and you do it well, Chuck. I'll I'll give you that much. All right, Teal. Let's let's chat um, a little League's Cup because na this Nashville team has been so much fun to watch. What a run you guys have been on. I mean, you've taken down some really really incredible teams in FC Cincinnati and Club America. You whoop Minnesota. You beat Monterey. This team is buzzing. What's what's the vibe like inside this locker room right now? Yeah, I mean, the, the vibes are definitely high. We're trying to, you know, temper it down a little bit. There's so much excitement right now around this club, uh, around the city. Um, you know, it's been a fun, a fun tournament for all of us. And the journey to get to this League's Cup final now, you know, there's been some, you know, bumps in the road in the group stage play, playing against Toluca. But I think we've kind of righted that ship. And uh, now we get to play against Miami here at Jodas Park. I think it's it's going to be a lot of fun. I know the fans are really excited about it, and us players are too. I mean, these opportunities don't come around very often where you're playing for a trophy, playing in a final. Uh, so we're definitely going to have to make the most of it. Teal, man, it's contagious. Not only the way that you guys play, the fans thrive off of it. There's something special going on. On the other side, you've got this inner Miami team that every time they've come up against decent MLS opposition. We said Orlando, oh, Orlando's going to be a test. They, they kind of blew them out of the water. And then, for example, Philly, we said, oh, Philly, this is going to be the one that they're, they're going to take a game to them. And they tore Philly apart in, in 45 minutes. At Philly. At Philly. <laughs> You guys, you guys, it feels like there's something different going on here. It's not like the rest of Inter Miami's opposition. You guys got to be that team to bring it to them. I hope so. I mean, that's, that's going to be our game plan. Obviously, they got talented players and they got arguably the greatest player of all time that changes the dynamic of that team. And you've been able to see it game after game. But, you know, we're going to go over film today, uh, you know, and tomorrow to try to come up with a good game plan and how to limit them. Um, but, you know, we're playing at home um, and I think that we're going to have to just be prepared and, you know, not sit back. I think it's a team that we, you know, we can get at still. Um, but we're going to have to pick and choose those moments properly. Teal, I'll, I'll say, you know, seeing you guys play Philadelphia and you lose 2-0 July 12th, uh, you would say, oh, man, coming into this, you guys are, are big underdogs. But Philly went away from what they do really well, playing two up top, high press, mm -hmm. because of Messi, because of Busquets. Now Joseph Martinez is coming back alive. We're starting to see Joseph Martinez the way he was playing at Atlanta and at his best. Uh, so now looking at this matchup, what do you guys have to make sure you do to not give too much respect to, to Lionel Messi and Busquets? Yeah, that, that, that's it. Um, is trying to make sure that we're not just sitting back too much. Because if we let them build momentum, we let them knock the ball around too much. If our lines aren't tight, you know, from the defense to the forwards, you know, if we're closing off those passing lanes, that's going to be really key and important for us. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's going to be there's going to be times where Messi's going to get on the ball and we're not going to be able to do much. There's going to be times where Busquets gets on the ball and he makes some unbelievable passes. But the more we can limit that um, and all all of us be locked in um, and then pick our moments to go on a counterattack or build out of the back, uh, those chances are going to be there. But I think we can't focus too much on them because then that takes away from how we want to play. Uh, and I think that's what other teams might be doing is focusing a little bit on Miami too much and not focus on what they can do and how they can attack them. What, what, is it, what has it been like for you as a father to see your, your, your kids come to watch you play? And, you know, 
given you that motivation? What, what has that been like for you? Because I haven't, we haven't really talked about it in, in, that, in that way. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's the best. Obviously, first and foremost, my faith in Christ. You know, I always want to glorify him when I'm playing. Um, but next, it comes my family, uh, my girls and my little, my little son now, too. But just seeing their excitement when they're at the games, when I'm walking out and they're waving at me, um, how attentive they are to the game, even though they're so young. Um, and even if daddy has a good game, a bad game, we win or lose, they're always just so excited to be there. So that really puts a lot of things in perspective for me um, to make sure that, you know, my highs aren't too high, my lows aren't too low. Um, but it's definitely such a joy and a motivating factor to be out there knowing that I'm trying to, you know, not impress them, but, you know, be a motivating factor, bring them some joy. Um, so every game, every training session, I'm always trying to push myself a little bit harder. Love it. Oh, Teal, uh, so great to catch up with you. Thanks so much for taking the time. Good luck on Saturday, and, and give our love to Katie and the kiddos. Yeah, I love Thank the three guys. stripes on the side of the head still. I love, I love that. <laughs> hey, come on, switch that dance up one time. <laughs>